Bhante to ask for the three refuges and the five virtues. Sad. Would you please give me the virtues, Bhante? Sad, sad. So I think uh, I do not want to scare anybody the first day. So <laughs> I think we will keep the the refuges for tomorrow and then today we will just do the virtues. I like to give the refuges even when they're asked for a little bit later in the retreat so that people have experienced a bit more of the Dhamma and then perhaps tomorrow and I will explain about them a little bit before. So today we'll begin with the virtues and um, because these virtues they're very fundamental to our practice so panati pata ve ramani sikha padang samadhyami i undertake the practice to refrain from harming living beings on purpose Adina dana ve ramani sikha padang samadhyami I undertake the practice to refrain from taking what is not given. Kame sumi cha chara ve ramani sikha padang samadhyami I undertake the practice to refrain from sexual misconduct. Musa wada we ramani sikha padang samadhyami I undertake the practice to refrain from false speech or lying Sura meraya madja pammadathana we ramani sikha padang samadhyami I undertake the practice to refrain from taking mind altering substances and these were the five virtues. Now the next three compose the eight. We kala bhojana we ramani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from eating at improper times, that is, in the afternoon. Natcha gita vadita vibhu. Visukadasana malaganda vilepana dharana mandana vibhusanatthana veramani sikha padang samadhyami I undertake the practice to refrain from dancing, singing, listening to music, seeing entertainment shows, wearing necklaces, perfumes and beautifying the body with cosmetics. Ucha sayana maha sayana ve ramani sikha padang samadhyami I undertake the practice to refrain from high and luxurious beds and seats. Silena sugatinyanti silena boga sampada silena nibhutinyanti tasama sila visodaye by virtue, a good life is obtained. By virtue, success comes to be. By virtue, one is liberated. This virtue is to be perfected. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. And now we will flow into the verses of the Dhammapada. And this is all in the retreat booklet if you're interested in following along or chanting along you're more than welcome to do so whether it's for the refuges and the virtues and the Dhammapada verses some people like to join some people don't <laughs> there's no obligation it's all up to you you can also just listen and that's what matters is to understand and to soak in what is said mano pubhangam madhamma mano siddha mano maya manasacha paduttena bhasati va karotiva 
tato nang dukkang anwaiti chakkang wa vahato padang. Mind precedes all things. All are governed by the mind, created by the mind. If with an unwholesome mind a person speaks or acts, trouble follows along as the wheel dragged by the foot. Mano pu bangam madhamma, mano sitta mano maya, manasa cha pasannena, bhasativa karotiva, tato nang sukang anweti, chayawa napagini. Mind precedes all things, all are governed by the mind, created by the mind. If with a wholesome mind, a person speaks or acts, then happiness is bound to follow along, like one's own shadow. Nahi virana virani samantida kudachanang avirana cha samanti esadhammo sanantano Never is anger appeased by anger. Only by non-anger is it appeased. This is an eternal law. Idha modati pecha modati kataputto ubayatta modati so modati so pamodati tiswa kamma visuding attano in this world and the next one rejoices. The doer of good rejoices in both worlds. One rejoices, one delights, seeing the brightness of one's own actions. Sabba papasa akaranang kusalasa upasampada sa citta pariyodapanang Etang buddhana sasanang, abandoning what is unwholesome and cultivating what is wholesome and elevating one's mind. This is the teaching of the Buddhas. Kanti paramang tapotitika, nibbanang paramang wadanti buddha. Nahi pabajito parupagati Samano hoti parang vihetayanto Patience and acceptance are the highest sacrifice. Nibbana is highest, say the Buddhas. One is no spiritual person who strikes another. One is no monk who oppresses others. Anupa wado anupa gato, pati moke cha sangwaro, matanyu ta cha bhatasaming, patancha sayanasanang, adichite cha ayogo, etang buddhana sasanang. Not looking to blame, not looking to hurt. Self mastered by the guidelines of the virtue. Knowing the right amount of food. Living alone and being devoted to the higher mind. Meditation. This is the teaching of the Buddhas. Susukkang vata jiwama yesang no natikinchanang. Piti bhakkang bhavisama deva abhasarayatta Surely we are living in bliss, we who have nothing. Feeders on joy we shall be, like the devas of streaming radiance. Metta vihari yo bhikkhu pasano buddha sasane Adi gatche padang santang, sankarupa samang sukkang. One who lives in boundless love, 
who is confident in the Buddha's teaching. Accomplished, one walks at peace, experiencing the happiness of stilling the tension. And this morning's brief couple of bright discourses from the Buddha dedication to wholesome states and the practice of boundless love. This was spoken by the Awakened One. There is one thing, monks, by which when it is cultivated and practiced constantly, one is assured of both kinds of happiness, happiness here and now, and in the coming future. What is this one thing? Dedication to wholesome states, monks. This is the one thing, monks, by which when it is cultivated and practiced constantly, one is assured of both kinds of happiness, happiness here and now and in the coming future. The wise praises careful dedication in performing actions yielding goodness. The thoughtful wise obtains happiness then in both ways, here and now and welfare in the coming future. A seer's clear understanding of happiness is the reason one is called a sage. and the development of boundless love. Monks, whatever vehicle or ground there is for producing goodness or merit, and for the generation of new karma, wholesome karma, all of these are not worth one sixteenth of the liberation of the mind through boundless love radiant, blazing, shining forth, the liberation of the mind through boundless love surpasses them all. Monks, just like whatever radiance there is from the stars, all of it is not worth one sixteenth of the moon's radiance, radiant, blazing, shining forth, the moon's radiance surpasses them all. In the same way, whatever vehicle or ground there is for producing goodness or merit, and for the generation of new karma, all of these are not worth one sixteenth of the liberation of the mind through boundless love. Radiant, blazing and shining forth, the liberation of the mind through boundless love surpasses them. Monks, just like in the last month of the monsoon season, in the autumn, when the sky is clear and the rain clouds have passed, the sun rises above the dark mass, radiant, blazing, shining forth winning over all of space, winning over darkness, and driving it away. In the same way, whatever vehicle or gra ground there is for producing goodness or merit, and for generating new karma, all of these are not worth one sixteenth of the liberation of the mind through boundless love. Radiant, blazing and shining forth, the liberation of the mind through boundless love surpasses them all. Monks, just like at the end of the night, the morning star radiates, blazes and shines forth. In the same way, whatever vehicle or ground there is for producing goodness, and generating new karma. All of these are not worth one sixteenth 
of the liberation of the mind through boundless love. Radiant, blazing, and shining forth, the liberation of the mind through boundless love surpasses all of them. For one who develops the feeling of love with boundless presence, the fetters wear away. Seen is the ending of all karma. Having an unspoiled mind towards one being, lovingly there is goodness therein. But having a compassionate mind towards all living beings, the Arya generates an abundance of merit. Even when having conquered this earth filled with the living, the virtuous king sets out performing many offerings, the horse offerings, men offering, food offering, money offering, unobstructed. Though he does not partake in one sixteenth of a mind well developed in boundless love. Like the moon's radiances to the stars, one who does not kill nor causes to kill, who does not conquer nor causes to conquer, with a heart of love towards all living beings, in such a person anger cannot be found. And this ends our morning puja. I wish you a very successful and wonderful meditation until I see you on interview.